Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a review, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a review on this item right here that I bought from Amazon. Uh, this little uh, plug-in here for my HDMI with a Thunderbolt cable. Um, so hopefully it works. Uh, it's my first time giving it a try and uh, I'm using a Mac 2011. So hopefully I can get the monitor to work with this piece here that can do an output on what my monitor is showing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so uh, as you can see, there's the Thunderbolt uh, port right there. It's one of these two, so I'm gonna have to see which one it is. like so there it is and um, it says I have to plug in I, I watched the other videos but they said you have to plug in your laptop your uh, Mac to give it power um, it doesn't run on its own it needs it needs uh, it needs the power uh, block right here to run it because I think it just takes up too much juice in your battery sometimes the battery doesn't uh, have that much juice so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in power it on and uh, see if uh, if it works <laughs> All right, here we go. Plug it in the source. You should see a light. This is really old here. Boom, we got the green light. There it is, powering it on. Ooh, hopefully it loads faster than a minute here we'll see real quick there it is powering it on 2011 who man it's taking a minute it's old tech man 10 year old 10 year old stuff here so we're gonna go ahead and power it on all right there it is powering it on Woo! success 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 so it does work guys so uh, there you have it um, all right there you have it so it does work I'm very happy with this uh, with this uh, I guess screen in extender so I'm able to now to uh, have more desktop space to work so totally cool and uh, awesome so uh, without further ado we'll go ahead and end this video so yes, yeah, so key things to remember when plugging this thing in this um, this device, you uh, obviously need power to your laptop or desktop, and then just uh, make sure it's it's running power, and then I think you're ready. You just plug and play. I didn't have to do anything uh, crazy, and um, yeah, pretty neat. So now I have a bigger screen to work in or monitor to work on if I really wanted to, and this is a. 2011 Mac so incredible stuff so without further ado guys thanks for watching and hit the like button and comment and subscribe thanks all right so here it is so I want to take this screen and move it up to my monitor right there so simple all I want to do is grab it like so up oh, hold on grab it like so on the top of the taskbar here I'm gonna go left I go left hold on or in this case I'm gonna go right right and then it's a appearing right there and then if I want to move it back to my my uh, my my laptop monitor here so I'm gonna go left and there it is right here right I want more space up here and then down here Yeah, so left or right, and then drag it. Yeah, save you guys a little bit of frustration there. So yeah, that's how uh, you're gonna go ahead and drag what you want on your laptop screen onto your monitor. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna work the same way with um, with what you call it with um, with your 
television. I'm not quite too sure. I'm just messing around right now with the monitor. So um, if you have any questions, go ahead and, and put them on the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit the like button and share it. And also um, subscribe. And uh, thank you.